Yo, what is going on guys? Today we're playing some more NHL 17 and we're going to continue the nice can we win this Stanley Cup in one year series last week we uh, wasn't even last week who my kid and lying to you it was like three weeks ago this last time we did the Colorado Avalanche that means in alphabetic order next up is my Columbus Blue Jackets and I already know there's going to be a lot of skepticism on this one for people because you're going to think of what to cheat and just do it over and over again and first thing I do want to say about that is if you've ever done like do all this trading and stuff it takes forever to do and I will not be repeating it if I fail, but I will show you. Let's see what time. It's 11.14. All right, 11.14 a.m. So we're in good shape here. So we'll see where we're at when we do the trades and stuff just to kind of prove that, you know, we didn't redo this a million times. To be fair, though, I mean, I don't even know if we're going to do it or not. We could lose, but it's the Blue Jackets. How can we possibly lose the Stanley Cup? Just doesn't seem possible. I'm assuming we're going to win. I'm thinking right now, what do we need to work on? Uh, nothing. Honestly, maybe the forwards. The defense, well, EA likes to slight Zach Wierenski and our defenders a little bit, but our defense isn't terrible. We actually got some of the cheap guys I like getting, usually when we're trading for players on the Blue Jackets. But yeah, we definitely gonna have to work on an offense. Glad to see we got Corpus Allo and Bob in net. I know that, because Corpus Allo is like, just going to be a fantastic backup goalie. He's elite, medium potential, if I don't recall. I think it is. Thankfully, it takes a while for this stuff to process. We can talk about the Blue Jackets all day. Hockey season starts soon. Two weeks until NHL, almost. Is it exactly two weeks? That is crazy. It can't be exactly two weeks. Oh my goodness. So next week... Next week on Thursday, you get early access for those of you with EA access on Xbox. See, that's why you got to get an Xbox right there. And you get normal size controllers. So here is the team. We have a really solid looking team. Look at this team. 87, 86. This is like a playoff team. We could get, ah, oh man, I think we go big on the center. If we go anywhere, it's big center. Maybe get a winger, improve that bottom six a little bit. Maybe two wingers. Two wingers and a center. I feel good about the defense. I really do. 83, 83. Kyle Quincy could be worked. Maybe get one defender around 84, 85 overall range. And I don't feel too bad about the rest of them. That medium elite, how can you go wrong with that? You got to see these guys grow a little bit. Jack Johnson ain't going to go nowhere. But besides that, it's looking good. The bonus about the Blue Jackets too is they have guys high cap range that are worth nothing. Like David Clarkson, who we paid to sit on a bench and not play $5 million a year because we traded for him. But I know who just exactly who I want. And that is Joe Thornton. We might even be able to retain a little bit of Joe's salary here. Joe Thornton will be a perfect man for the center of our team right here. And if I'm not mistaken, we haven't used Joe Thornton in a while. I got to remember that we can't use the same players from the previous video. We try to keep that mixed up like that. And the Blue Jackets are willing to trade draft picks. We're not willing to give you anybody else that are players that are any good. Come on now. We actually could consider trading Corpus Allo, to be honest. He's got a really good trade value. And we only need a decent solid starter that can be 80 or not starter, but backup 80, 45. So first round pick and David Clarkson for Joe Thornton. We're paying a little heavy for Joe Thornton, but we're going to do it because he's retaining salary. All right. So I was very, very weary of doing that trade. And apparently San Jose doesn't want anything to do with it. We'll throw a second round draft pick on there for him. Called a trade block. You should check it out. What do you mean we're not meeting the value? You want us to lower the salary cap a little bit? Because we'll do that for you, big boys. There you go. We'll knock it down to 7%. Just to feel like I'm getting a deal. Trade rejected. They laughed at me. It was like, get out of here. We'll lower it down to 0% for a good time. Just to make sure. Trade rejected. All right. You do have a trade block. And we are feeding that trade block. We gave you David Clarkson. Who else would you possibly want? Besides the late, great David Clarkson. He's hash brown elite, all right? I guess we could throw him Sam Gagne. Yeah, I'd like Sam Gagne to be the third line center, though. Fourth line center. We'll throw him Bill, though. Bill, you want to go over to the San Jose Sharks? We're way overpaying for a one-year rental. A first round, Carlson, a second round. I got to love VA. Are you serious right now? Oh, they don't want to take David Clarkson's contract. Please. I don't want to take Jumbo Joe's contract. It's a liability. What if I dump that? and make you eat half of Joe Thornton's contract. Can I do that? Is that legal? It's going to be legal here in a second. There we go. That got us in cap range. Perfect. Before doing that, we're only giving you a first round draft pick. We are going to be in a budget problem right away, and they took it okay. Definitely David Clarkson. Why do you got to be such a problem? Who can we swindle off David Clarkson to? Maybe we can get Andre Palat for David Clarkson. They want Clarkson, so that's always a start. Do they want any draft picks? They don't. Perfect. It's just what I was hoping for is they didn't want any draft picks because I'm going to throw them draft picks whether they want them or not, and they're going to take them, and they're going to like them. Tampa Bay is impossible to deal with, too, because all their players insist on getting 90 points every season. Let's try two first for Andre Pilat, and they said no. All right, I said, I want to go big. Let's go Mark Stone. Let's go Mark Stone for David Clarkson. Do it. All right, fine. The value is not up to stuff snuff for Mark Stone. No, I know what the problem is. You don't want David Clarkson's contract. 
I don't either. I can't afford it. I'm trying to make money here and get rid of David Clarkson. That's my problem here. I'm trying to get good players with David Clarkson. Trade rejected. They don't care anything about that retained salary. I'll retain all of it, big boy, if I have to. I know I won't. That's a lie. I only have so much cap space here. And that is going to absolutely destroy my cap space. David Clarkson, you're just unmovable, man. What if I throw on York Strand and Matt Calvert? You would be over the organization limit, of course. Gonna have to throw a little bit more on a bone for that, though. For some reason, York Strand and a first round just isn't enough for Mark Stone. I did not think so. I don't know. I'm feeling a little overconfident with my Blue Jackets, and I'm just gonna offer. I'm not looking to make big, big, big moves where I make like an entire team overhaul. We're just looking for a couple players to redo. And I'm going to get cocky with it. And that's going to be my problem. Two first round draft picks. These guys are so greedy. It is impossible to deal with teams. Who isn't taking two first round? It's Mark Stone. I mean, he's a great player and all. But I'm offering you three first round draft picks. Oliver York Strand and Matt Calvert. And you won't take it. No. Somebody's got to be willing to give me an 87 or overall wing for three first round draft picks. That's pretty much all I'm looking for. The Islanders. What do you guys got? You know what? I wasn't thinking. What's new, right? I could go and get one more defender over there. Mmm, ham and egg. Uh, no, I don't want to pay that much for you. Nicoletti, though, I might do for an 87 overall Nicoletti. That doesn't seem like a bad price at all. First round draft pick, Nicoletti. I can't afford to give you that because I, I can't afford that contract, though. Can you please take somebody on my team with a little bit of contract? Nobody wants to take David Clarkson. I tried giving him away. Everybody acts like they want him, but they really don't want him. <laughs> like, yeah, we'll take David Clarkson. No, you won't. Thankfully, they want all of our draft picks, though. They want our draft picks and Clarkson. You got to take this, New York. Get out of here. I like how EA's like, yeah, they want David Clarkson. No, 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 they don't. <laughs> Second, all right. I'm going to find somebody to deal with David Clarkson. I think that's the secret here is just to find some team willing to take David Clarkson's contract on that can afford it. And I don't think anybody can. Who's got some cap space? Oh, Winnipeg. All right. How would you guys like some David Clarkson? We'll give you David Clarkson just for a seventh round draft pick. That's a steal. All right, fine. I'm paying you a second round draft pick to take David Clarkson on my hands. Do it. All right, fine. It's worth it at this point to offer multiple draft picks here to David Clarkson because we're in so much cap problems. So two first round, two seconds. Or You know what's funny? We're only asking for a se seventh in their return and they won't take it because they don't want to eat the contract. EA, that's some EA logic. That is some EA logic. It's one season at most. Like, come on. I'll eat a little bit of the salary. Just a little bit. Not a lot because I'm trying to make some money here. I'll eat 25% of it. There you go. Get out of here. Who would? It's five million. I understand that's ridiculous, but who wouldn't take three second round draft picks just to eat David Clarkson's contract? I love EA. Ah, wah. So all I do is cry and complain. Wah, 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 wah. Who can I have? This is terrible. I'm trying to find a Severson. I gotta try Severson because he's the only guy I can afford. This is impossible. Severson, Milano. They ain't going to take that, but I'll offer it. Nope. All right. I'll throw in another draft pick. I need to get a defender, and we have such cap problems. That's what I get for taking Joe Thornton. The Blue Jackets already had cap problems anyway, but like I said, I only wanted to pick up a couple players. See what we can make happen here. Damon Severson, trade accepted. All right. So we gained a winger, we gained a defender, and we gained a center. So we're good defensively. I'd like to get one more cheap winger if we can find one. Maybe Arvidsson? Arvidsson for Yorkshire. Let's make it happen, Nashville. Oh, man, they took it. I can't believe they just did that. I'll work it in, though. All right, I like what we've done here now. We put Severson on a line with Wierenski. We'll make that work. We'll make it work. Then we got Ryan Murray. We got Jones, Savard Johnson. And in the first line of Joe Thornton, Brandon Sodding, Cam Atkinson should have went and got Panarin. Oh, well, got Brock Nelson, Dubinsky, Felino, Hartnell, Wenberg, Jenner. We're going to sim up until the trade deadline just to see how this goes here. And if you guys would like a nice looking time check, that took us approximately, that took us like 40 minutes. So it wasn't too bad. Usually it takes forever to make trades. So it was 11.35 right now when we start this little sim up. It takes like 15 minutes to go through this just to clarify for you guys 91 93 90 or is that 92 i missed it i was talking too quickly i wasn't paying attention let's go ahead and get this season a rolling though so here we are pre-trade deadline 33 wins 21 losses i'm not very happy about that i think we need to get it up a little bit more hopefully we can find somebody cheap out there in trade agency can we call it that trade agent look at the capitals with 88 points it's rough we're on the brink of not making the playoffs so we have to go after somebody Oh, quick time check just for you guys, 11.43. We can go out there and get Domi for left wing. That'll work. 85 over, I'll take Domi. I'll take him any day of the week. Come on down. You want Bittner in return? Is that all you want? No, you're going to want a little bit more. That's fine. 
That is perfectly fine. We need to save some stuff for a centerman though. And we have two first round draft picks left. I don't know what kind of centerman we'll find for that, but what if we go ahead and perfect. Sent that away there, all righty. Jeff Skinner, how much is Jeff Skinner? Not Jeff Skinner, Jordan Stahl. Speaking of centerman, is he really, really pricey if I had to guess though? He is, he's really pricey and he's got a high salary. Two big problems that I gotta try to get. That's a big problem I'm willing to take the task on of. All right, so they're willing to take Kyle Quincy. How much of this are there? Dang, look at Carolina's salary available. Holy cow. Why don't they just pay for everything? Dang, this ain't going to be enough still. I'm pretty sure that's not going to be enough to keep us under the cap. And it is not. I don't know why they were saying it was. Man, do they got some cap space. You guys want David Clarkson? Nobody wants David Clarkson. Who am I kidding? But I was, <laughs> was going to try to make it happen. Let me get out of the age. Yeah, what are you doing down there, buddy? New Navarro, New Navarro. How about Marcus New Navarro? Do you guys want defensemen? We ain't giving you pure loop the ball, but look how low they have him rated in this game. That is just disrespectful. It's our last cry here, Carolina. Our last hope at making a playoff push is if you give up. Uh, you had to be skater. Uh, skater organization limit. You just got to rain on our parade. Having such a good time. And nope. Skater organization limit. Who is a cheap player on your team? Right there, looking good. Come on over to the team. That's gonna put a, uh, just over the cap limit. <laughs> what if we make them retain salary? Can we make them retain salary on this guy? No. Can we make them retain salary on any of these guys? Is that enough? Tell me it's enough. It's not enough. Come on, Columbus, what are you doing? I guess if we drop New Navarra, will they take that though? It's a pretty solid looking trade. Come on, Jordan Stahl. Dang it, I don't know what to do. We are in big problems right now. We need to get rid of something. We need to get rid of something, but we can't get rid of too much because we don't, I'll throw on two first round draft picks in two seconds, gladly. This is for the playoffs, man. Screw the future, we want to win right now. Trade rejected, they just laughed at us for that one. All right, here we go. We're really mixing things up here. We're going all in for a Bonino and Matt Murray. And we're gonna deal Jonas, Jonas Corposalo here because he's got some wicked, 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 wicked wicked trade value and we're gonna give him kyle quincy and we need to get a solid centerman i don't know if Benino's the way to go though it's only an overall point up but the goalie is a lot of overall points up i might even take away some draft picks on this one we'll take away a first we might just be able to go corpus Allo Benino straight up let's see if that'll happen and it will sweet deal i better see what we added real quick just in case okay we got a winger good we did need a winger i was a little bit concerned no we didn't get one we still need a winger what am i doing we need to go get ourselves a right winger all right, perfect. Gregorenko will do the trick. First round draft pick for him. No, who would ever take a first round? No, mm -mm. I'd never take a first round draft pick for Gregorenko. You guys are crazy. We're only using it's it after this. So you know what? If they decline this, okay. <laughs> oh, I love VA. Oh no, I didn't just do that. That's all right. I forgot Max Domi was in the minors. Oh well. <laughs> The bottom four is a little bit better. Our bottom six is a little bit better than what it was. Let's go ahead and sim up the rest of this season. Hopefully, we can still make the playoffs. Great news. It does look like we made it to the playoffs, and we get the Pittsburgh Penguins in the first round. That's just what I wanted. Let's do it. I'm simming straight through these Penguins. 3-1 loss. Time check. 12.03. Just clearing that up for you guys, because we're winning the Stanley Cup with these Blue Jackets, and I want to make sure you guys know what time it is. Make sure I'm not cheating here. There we go. Look at that. 4-3 win. We have their goalie. What else can they possibly need? It's Flurry in the playoffs, man. The only team Flurry does good against in the playoffs in the past few years is the Blue Jacket. Oh, right. Right. Good call. 2-2 two, two series tie. Let's do it. We're simming up all seven games. I'm feeling good about this series. I'm not stopping. Not stopping at all. Look at this. Easy W's. Sit down, Pittsburgh. Bring us to the conference semis against them Montreal Canadiens. Let's do it. Game number one is a win, as I expected. I think it'll take us six games to beat these Montreal Canadiens. I'm feeling good about it. Oh, there's a loss. And MTL does stand for Montreal loss, right? MTL. Get it? Oh, man. The Blue Jackets are killing it. Let's do it. Next round, baby. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling really good about this. I'm going to get in big trouble if we do good, though. I'm really nervous. I secretly kind of want to see us not win the Stanley Cup just for that reason, so I don't have to get trolled. But, oh, goodness, the Rangers. Easy wins, easy wins, easy wins. Please, please, please. Three straight wins. Game seven overtime loss. Had to do it. I had to do it. We couldn't stop simming. Had to do it for the sake of integrity of my Columbus Blue Jackets. We couldn't pull it off. We lost in game seven to the Rangers, but we made a huge comeback. Won three in a row. Was down 2-0. 
And here we are, the New York Rangers won the Stanley Cup, as if we wanted to know that. It's okay, the Blue Jackets couldn't quite do it. One of these years, man, one of these Sims, we're gonna take care of business. How did the stats look? At least for the team, how did our team look? Joe Thornton, 72 points was best in our team. I would appreciate a little bit better than that, but that's all right. 70 points out of Cam Sanity. Wenberg, 59, 56 out of Saad. Greg Renko went over there 42 points, but he wasn't on our team all season, was he? Brock Nelson at 45. Boone Jenner, David Sabard looking good. How'd the goaltending look? Need to find out how my goalies were doing. I'd be disappointed somewhere. Bob, 2.55. That's not Bob worthy. 37 and 22, Sergey. I don't like that. 9 and 4, the 2.27 out of Murray. Bob, 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 Bob. I needed a Vezna out of you this year if we wanted to win the Stanley Cup. And clearly, we didn't get it. Instead, we got an Art Ross out of Ovi, a Memorial out of Ovi, a James Norris out of Dowdy, a Lady Bing out of Backstrom, a Line A Calder Trophy, a Smythe went to Henrik Alunquist. Get out of here. See, that could have been Bob's con, Smythe. The Vezna went to Johnny Quick this season. He didn't even make EA's top 10 goalies next year, so they're a little bit confused. Williams, Jenny, Mastodon, Emelin. Emelin gets out all the time. Bergeron, Selkie. Oh, we bringing home all this hardware. Otherwise, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.